Jeep is about to produce something no one has ever seen before. This is the future of automotive technology. Over the years, we have witnessed so many upgrades to more efficient power engines, from diesel engine to internal combustion engine, and the most prevalent, electric engine. While these conventional engines have long been in use, it is time for more innovative power solutions that are not only efficient, but also environmentally friendly. Meanwhile, Jeep recently announced their revolutionary compressed air engine. This groundbreaking innovation isn't just ready to rival electric vehicles, it is set to completely destroy the EV market. How did they accomplish this feat, and could its engines outshine electric vehicles? Before we get into a conclusion, I will reveal a shocking truth later on in the video. This reality would change everything we thought we knew about car engines. In the meantime, kindly drop a like and subscribe to this channel. Jeep is creating a new strategy to being carbon neutral, and the automaker may find success with it. With an unmatchable fuel efficiency boasting 120 miles per gallon and a massive reduction of nearly 99% in current tailpipe emissions, this car will certainly offer a compelling solution as combustion engines are beginning to face impending bans. While world leaders push for widespread adoption of EVs, this compressed air engine is a valid alternative for those seeking an environmentally friendly option without compromising on performance. You see, the electric vehicles are lacking in so many areas. Even EV companies are starting to halt their plans on production. Meanwhile, Stellantis and Jeep are set to unveil a groundbreaking hybrid air powertrain. Their 2-liter compressed air engine ingeniously combines petrol with compressed air for efficiency. This innovative system is made of a compressed air tank, a low-pressure tank, and a hydraulic system, all integrated to deliver optimal performance. Moreover, Stellantis has been working on this new range of engines, which will most likely revolutionize the automotive industry. These engines not only have the potential to overshadow EVs, but are also complemented by a revolutionary new transmission, boasting an impressive mileage of nearly 55 miles per gallon. And if that isn't impressive enough, wait until you hear about the remarkable CO2 emission reductions achieved by Jeep. It all started with a team of visionary engineers and innovators who decided to try something new. Drawing inspiration from the pressing need to reduce emissions and fight climate change, Jeep embarked on a quest to develop an engine technology that would not only deliver exceptional performance, but also minimize environmental impact. Hence, the concept of the air combustion engine was born, a creative fusion of traditional internal combustion engines with the innovative use of compressed air. This unique combination reduces emissions by up to 90% and eliminates 99.9% .9 of particulates. Through relentless research, development, and engineering prowess, Jeep harnessed the power of compressed air to push the vehicles into a new era of eco-friendly mobility. By using more advanced technologies and groundbreaking design principles, they created an engine that matched their vehicles while still offering fuel efficiency and reduced emissions. But how does this magic really happen? Imagine the current battery electric hybrid vehicles, such as the Toyota Prius. Now, picture replacing those hefty batteries with compressed air. In essence, Jeep's hybrid air technology uses compressed air for energy storage. A hydraulic pump motor unit captures energy from the IC and braking storing it as compressed air. Meanwhile, there might be an exception. For city driving, Jeep claims the hybrid air system can cut fuel consumption by a remarkable 50%. And the benefits don't end there. Vehicles equipped with this system can see their range soar by 90% compared to conventional engines of the same power rating. In urban settings, hybrid air-powered vehicles can rely solely on air power for an impressive amount of 60 to 80% of the time. PSA is currently testing this prototype, aiming for a combined fuel efficiency of 120 miles per gallon. So what about the cost? By eliminating the need for expensive battery packs found in traditional hybrid vehicles, the hybrid air system becomes not only more affordable, but also simpler to install and maintain. Moreover, it offers flexibility in passenger compartment design without sacrificing trunk space. 
Even while virtually every car company was buying into the whole EV idea, why is the Jeep CEO different? In the epic showdown between the silent hum of electric vehicles and the roaring revolution of air combustion engine cars, the battleground of the automotive market has never been more charged with anticipation. Imagine on one side you have the sleek, futuristic beauty of EVs gliding effortlessly down the streets. On the other, the bold air combustion engine cars, fueled by the compressed air, ready to challenge with their traditional sound. While EVs may display an effort to reduce emissions and offer a semblance of sustainability, the undeniable truth is that air combustion engines hold the trump card in the race towards a greener future. With zero tailpipe emissions and efficiency in fuel combustion, air combustion engines have major features including lightning-fast acceleration. The once-celebrated EV revolution, hailed as the savior of the Earth, is now under intense scrutiny, led by none other than Carlos Tavares, the CEO of Stellantis. Representing a conglomerate of 12 automotive giants, including household names like Jeep, Ram, Chrysler, and Dodge, Tavares has disrupted the EV narrative, challenging its very foundation. While the world is rushing to replace 1.3 billion gas-guzzling vehicles with cleaner electric alternatives, the CEO questioned the feasibility of such a massive change. If you think about it, the lithium required for EV batteries might not be as abundant as we used to think. And even if it is, the geopolitical tensions surrounding its extraction could make the transition to EVs a bigger nightmare. Now, what about the fact that we'd be reducing rare earth metals to make these batteries, which in itself causes a boatload of emissions? Stamping a direct ban on IC cars, switching to extremely expensive EVs is something companies should really be ashamed of. This is quite concerning when you consider the financial implications of the EV push. With EVs already costing 40% more than their internal combustion counterparts, a combustion ban could drive prices even higher. In the USA, EVs remain concentrated at the higher end of the price spectrum. Instead of a greener form of mass transportation, they are positioned as luxurious high-tech status symbols with next-draining acceleration. Today, the 2024 Tesla Model X sells for an average price of $102,011, while the Rolls-Royce Spectre comes at an outrageous price of $413,000. Even though those prices are outrageous, they can't just pass those costs on to the customers and expect them to pay those prices. At this point, air combustion engines may just sweep EVs off their feet. But there is a bigger problem. Remember when the US government set a goal to make half of all new vehicles sold in 2030 zero emissions vehicles? Well, do you think they will yield to this environmentally friendly idea from Jeep? Whether the US government will welcome Jeep's new air combustion engine as a replacement for their EV-centric policies depends on various factors. On one hand, they might see it as a positive development, as it offers an alternative to the growing dominance of electric vehicles and addresses concerns about the feasibility and affordability of widespread EV adoption. On the other hand, politicians who are heavily invested in promoting EVs as part of their environmental and energy policies might view Jeep's air combustion engine as a threat to their agenda. They may argue that prioritizing traditional combustion engines, even if they use alternative fuels like compressed air, could undermine efforts to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and combat climate change. Ultimately, the reception of Jeep's new engine among U.S. politicians will likely vary based on their individual priorities, beliefs, and constituent interests. Some may see it as a promising innovation that diversifies the automotive market, while others may see it with skepticism or opposition, particularly if it challenges their existing policy initiatives or environmental goals. But here's the truth. Other automotive giants like General Motors, Ford, Hyundai, and Rivian are already grappling with the rising costs of battery materials. The new EV tax credit incentives, which offer discounts on cars made in the U.S., have further complicated matters. It seems the automotive industry is built on shaky ground with policies that might be more divisive than inclusive. 
It's also interesting to note that Jeep itself hasn't been immune to the changing market dynamics. Terras, the CEO, has been sounding the alarm, warning that if automakers can't swallow the extra production costs, the middle class will be left in the dust of the EV market. Even while subsidies have been making EVs somewhat affordable, what happens when they are completely removed? Also, what would this mean for EVs going forward? We'd love to know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to this channel.